Three incremental improvements to the mechanical performance of weaving and knitting machines are only to be expected, given their long history of innovation. However, game-changing technologies do come along, and seamless knitting was undoubtedly one of them. More recently, digital automation has opened a new chapter in the textile industry's journey. And what a journey this is! As we'll discover, Industry 4.0 is resulting in a new generation of advanced materials. Among them are smart textiles and composites. So I'm joined now by Masaki Karasuno from Shimasiki and your whole garment technology has had a huge impact on fabric technology. Could you just start by outlining its basic principles? Usually uh, knitwear is produced in pieces first, the front body and the back body and also the sleeves are knit separately and then sewn together afterward. And that takes labor and also uh, cut losses or a seam allowance actually uh, involves more materials that are required. Now with whole garment on the other hand, uh, the entire uh, piece is knit in one piece straight off the knitting machine, considered uh, one of the most sustainable forms of uh, textile production to date. So I'm joined now by Ms. Valentina Superti from the European Commission and the Commission have just published the transition pathway for the textiles ecosystem. So could you tell us what is that and what kind of commitment are you expecting to see from stakeholders? Yes, in the European Commission we have just released uh, two days ago a transition pathway which is an innovative methodology. It's a bottom-up process. It's a co-creation process with which we are working together with stakeholders to meet the ambitions of a more sustainable and digital and resilient textiles ecosystem. So what is this about? It can be about introducing a circular uh, business models or about enhancing uh, digital skills. Uh, it can be many type of actions and uh, we are leaving quite a freedom to uh, stakeholders uh, to devise uh, their own uh, commitments, uh, their own projects to the extent that they meet uh, the objectives, uh, sustainability, digitalization and uh, resilience. <laughs> I'm now joined by James Wang, the CEO of Pai Lung. Now, so how does Alternate eliminate waste in that process? First of all, the Alternate eliminated the waste by, you know, because of, for, for example, the pattern of intarsia. They should have, in, in a regular intarsia, they have a floating yang. If you have to make the fabric, you have to cut the floating yang. So this will be a lot of wastage. But in, by using our Alternate, there will be no floating yang at all. And the second, if you are doing the four color, six color for the fully uniform like uh, the Argentina uniform, in a conventional way you have to do the, the print and the embroidery for the logo and print for the number. But for this, you totally eliminate the process of uh, printing and also embroidery. And don't forget, printing and embroidery consume a lot of energy. So I'm now joined by Silvia Gregoni from Wastex and I wonder if you could just tell us a little bit about the background and the kind of aims of Wastex as a joint venture operation in Spain. Wastex is the result of uh, two companies that uh, join forces uh, to ensure a proper and uh, accurate automatic sorting of garments. The idea of Wastex is to provide the physical and digital infrastructure uh, to uh, ensure the proper sorting of garments in the recycling center all around the world. The, the center of uh, our solution is the technology. We have a machine that uses uh, artificial intelligence and uh, artificial vision to uh, classify and uh, sort the garments by fiber and by color. So I'm joined now by Professor René Rossi from EMPA and what are your key activities and aims? We, we aim at putting the function or, or the sensor directly in, into the fibre where the, the, the whole sensing part is in, in the fibre. So we integrate some, for instance, fluorescent dyes that react 
on, on some biomarkers for medical applications. So non-invasive monitoring of, of different uh, vital signs like ECG or uh, we also have uh, projects on wound monitoring where we monitor for instance the pH value or the, the glucose content so we can uh, sense different biomarkers with optical means. It's all advanced materials, isn't it? Tomorrow, we'll be taking a deeper dive into the world of automation and the digital future. Join us then.